research being done in Cambridge, England might offer a whole new insight into the phenomenon. Professor Brian Ford is a leading independent researcher in cell biology. He believes he's identified a substance that could solve the puzzle. It's something so volatile, it can ignite with just an invisible spark, like the static from a sweater. It will set fire to the bottle and it can almost explode in your face. For centuries, the terrifying phenomenon of spontaneous human combustion has baffled researchers across the globe. Now, in Cambridge, England, Professor Brian Ford has developed an idea that might explain it. The wick effect doesn't work. I set out to search for a compound in the body that could burst into flame. And although we often overlook the fact, human bodies produce acetone. Acetone, which is generally used as nail varnish remover, is highly flammable with explosive vapors. All living cells produce acetone, but when you're ill, the level of acetone can go up. It's this rise in the level of acetone during illness that Professor Ford believes can be deadly. Acetone behaves a little bit like gasoline does. If you, if you let a spark off where there is the vapor of acetone, it will set fire to the bottle and it can almost explode in your face. Even the smallest spark, invisible to the naked eye, can ignite acetone. For Professor Ford, this is the key to why the combustion appears spontaneous. We know that things like a spark from static, you could even comb your hair as he sparks in the dark. The mystery is, how does the person themselves become flammable? And of course, if they've got acetone in their tissues, that might convert a person from being incombustible into being something that burns like a rocket. Professor Ford is conducting an experiment to test this theory. The first thing is to make a scale model human out of pork and dress it in miniature clothes. It is then soaked in acetone so that the cells become saturated with the chemical. So let's see. The acetone causes the tissue to burn with an intense heat. What I believe happens in spontaneous human combustion is that the combination between fat and acetone becomes highly inflammable. And that is why in a case like this you see not just that you end up with a barbecue person, but that the body is destroyed by the heat energy released from within the victim's tissues. And that is what makes this into such a tragic, terrifying, appalling way to die. Within half an hour, the model is reduced to ashes.